Hey, just wanted to uh, jump on and uh, give a little note of something that I discovered this week. I um, got my third uh, cholesterol test back and it wasn't so good. And I thought, oh my gosh, what have I done? And so I started looking back over what I had done and um, came to the conclusion, one thing, when you're first starting out on your health program and you've got a lot of weight to lose and not a lot of energy, <laughs> well, and you're not quite in a healthy fat burn yet, you want to not do a lot of exercise. That's just kind of the way the program works. Well, I kind of hung on to that. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't adding the proper exercise. Well, during the pandemic, I was working on the yard uh, because I was making my little Rocky River, if you can remember. And, um, and so I was outside every day, every day, every day, and I was working. And and uh, the doctor had told me, you need to you know lower the fat and add some exercise. Well, I was adding some major exercise. I was digging ditches and hauling rock and shoveling dirt and shoveling rocks and well I so it ended up being where I lowered my cholesterol like 24 points within like six months which was amazing and the doctor was delighted you know well after I finished the program and I went back and did it again it's like oh my goodness uh, I think it was three months later um, I took the test again and my cholesterol went back up and the only difference was that I wasn't exercising every day. I wasn't getting out and walking. I wasn't shoveling. wasn't doing anything, you know, uh, health-wise. I mean, and exercise-wise. I was eating the same things and, and being careful with the fat and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, um, and so I thought, okay, what? I need, I need to get busy. Well, I, I didn't get busy. I don't know if I got into a frump. I was, I don't know, I was being that, like the, the slugger that I was teaching about in children's church today. <laughs> oh my goodness, I had I taught for the first time in children's church today at uh, New Song Church. It had been years since I have done that, so it's a lot of fun. But it was interesting, it was talking about the ant being like being like the ant or being like the sluggard and the sluggard is lazy and and procrastinating i thought oh man i'm teaching to myself here you know <laughs> so i thought well okay so what the deal is is that once you reach your goal weight or you're you know pretty much close to your goal weight you've got the most of your weight off that you you want to you need to start adding some some healthy exercise uh, and on a consistent basis, you know, do it like maybe 30 minutes a day, maybe at least three days a week or something like that. And um, and I'm seeing now that that's, that whole equation for me, now I don't know if it's going to be like that for you, but it's, it's what I need to be able to keep my cholesterol at a healthy level. You know, they always, you know, there's this battle about, you know, if you have a high, good, good cholesterol and and, and if you have a high, low cholesterol, well, then it balances out. Well, it, the doctor was saying the overall number is the th thing that he was concerned about. So anyway, so I've just come to that conclusion that, you know, you got to um, do some exercise on a daily basis. And it doesn't have to be, you know, lifting weights and all that kind of stuff, but it needs to be on a consistent basis. The key is consistency. So uh, it is that... Um, and what is the, the saying that we heard yesterday? It was, uh, if you have regular action, you get, uh, you don't, unless you have regular action, you're not going to have satisfaction. But when you have regular action, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have satisfaction. So I'm working towards the sa satisfaction and having a, a daily uh, exercise and we're going to see what's going to happen in the next six months or whatever it's going to be. I guess it's probably it's three to six months. We'll see. So anyway, and I also wanted you to see my cute little coat that I got, my bargain coat. I think it was about $16. It was like an $88 coat for way down. I mean, that's going into um, Belk at the right time, <laughs> at the right moment, and uh, finding these things on these clearance racks. It was such a joy and it actually fit and I've had lots of compliments on it today so it was a lot of fun wearing this today this is my first time so a lot of first today so I'm hoping and praying that everybody's having a good day and we're gonna have a good next week y'all stay connected with one another stay connected with God 
don't get fearful. Be praying in the Spirit. If you're if you got the Spirit, you've got the Holy Ghost. Pray in that prayer language all the time, and that way you will not uh, have the fear of the enemy coming into you uh, and slowing you down. So uh, we've got confidence and faith that God is in charge. He has got his hands over you. He's got his hands over America. So um, think about that. Uh, if you've had issues with your cholesterol, uh, just think about that. And give me a call if you're interested in uh, finding out a little bit more about that. Because there's a program that we can put together that's just for you. You know, I have the program that works for me. And uh, there might, what I do for me might not work for you, but we'd have to wait and see. But anyway, um, it works. It works, it works, it works. And I'm so thrilled. I'm so excited. I'm so blessed that uh, I have found this health journey and um, am, I'm helping other people do, do as well, you know, get healthy as well, which is very rewarding. And I'd love to help you. So anyway, y'all have a great day. This is Sunday, the 17th of January. So we'll see what God does today and the rest of the week. All right. God bless you. Bye.